Hi, I'm Bob Lang. I'm honored to be the Photographer of the Month here at uh, Nelson. Yes, I'm uh, originally from the East Coast. I've been a San Diegan now most of the last 40 years. I'm a career Navy guy. Uh, moved to San Diego five times, been on numerous ships and staffs out of San Diego. Got interested in photography many, many years ago, out of uh, right after high school. Uh, continued that, uh, uh, became a Nikon shooter and have stayed as a Nikon shooter uh, forever. My interests are ships and airplanes, and uh, quite unexpectedly got interested in the Spreckles Organ Pavilion back in uh, 11 or 12 years ago, and uh, gradually became the uh, principal photographer for the Spreckles Organ Society, and we'll talk about that later, but uh, that's what I do now. I shoot ships, airplanes, and uh, Spreckles Organ, and my grandkids. No, you can shoot whatever. You mm -hmm. just uh, certainly being in a position of, of some authority. You know, there's lots of classified stuff. Uh, but but I knew what that was, so we purposely okay. We don't shoot what's going on today. We'll wait till tomorrow, or we'll wait till they're done doing that. And yeah, you can shoot personal stuff. Uh, shoot scenery, spectacular sunsets out there in the middle of nowhere, uh, get to see lots of the world, uh, yes. Oh, certainly everything is on digital now. I wouldn't go back to film. Gosh, I'm sure that's heresy to some people, but oh, so nice. I did that for decades. Nice. Um, and that all stopped in, 19, in 2004 when I got my first uh, digital D70. And you haven't looked back since? Absolutely, have not looked back since. There's still some of those rolls. I think there's still a roll in the Nicromat. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot at the Pavilion is uh, 16 to 35 on my 800E. And before the concert starts, I use a, the uh, 28 to 300 on the D850, and then when things are about to start and the performers come out, shift to my 80 to 400. So during the concert, it's a wide angle on one camera and the 80 to 400 on the other. Oh, the sunsets. Look at that. You know, you only get one of those every few years. It has to be, you know, it has to be when the organ's playing, so it, it means a uh, Monday evening in the summertime. It has to be when there's a southwest monsoon, so we get the clouds, and the marine layer can't be there. So every once in a while, we get a spectacular sunset, and there's, you know, and then the, the, the rainbows were, were just a few weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah, that was, ah, oh, Amazing. Gosh. That's a, that's a hard one. It depends on the opportunity. If, I mean, if my wife and I are at the lodge in Zion, obviously we're shooting landscapes. Um, if it's air show day, then it's, we're shooting air shows. And like if it's tonight, it's, I'll be at the Oregon Pavilion. So I can't say that uh, they're favorites. It just depends on the shot. I mean, after you get the, you know, how could you possibly dispute the, the, the ring, the sunset or the, the double rainbow. I mean, it, yeah, that was obviously my favorite shot for at least three or four days. And then, <laughs> and then, and then see the airplane, that, the airplane going across the moon. Mm -hmm. That was at the Oregon Pavilion. Oh. Yes. I was standing there shooting down at the organist and I knew that, knowing that there was going to be a full moon, turn around on occasion and watch the moon rise right into the landing approach for Lindbergh Field. And I, you know, shot some organs, 
next airplane, turn back and forth. And finally, the moon got high enough that they, sure enough, just flew right into it. The Navy used to advertise on a website in the morning what ships were going to come in and out and what time of day. They don't do that anymore. So you have to go on intuition of, okay, Monday morning's a good time to get ships going out. Friday is a fair time to get ships coming back. Aircraft carriers, you never know because they go in and out based on the tide. So it's a lot, of, uh, a lot of guesswork. So there are places on the bay that make for good shots. There's the, uh, the fishing pier uh, behind the convention center. There's the ferry landing at Coronado, memorial on the top of the hill at, uh, on Point Loma, Harbor Island, occasionally Shelter Island. You're welcome. This I has really been fun. It. Yeah. I'm, I'm honored. I was, I was surprised when Larry called, and I was delighted to be able to do it. It was a huge amount of work to get ready, and now and it's like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I'm on the 31st of <laughs> <laughs>